Hey folks, how's it going? Back again with another build video. This one revolves around two elements. That's the Scorpio shotgun and the galvanized backpack talent. We've got technician as is standard when we're running a half shield so we can get that artificer hive. Primary weapon, as we stated off the top, we have the Scorpio shotgun. You're all aware of it. Septic shock. I'm gonna draw your attention specifically to the level three disorient. That's what's gonna be procking the galvanized talent. We'll get to that a bit later. Secondary weapon, went ahead and threw on Emmeline's guard. When you're running with three armor cores, it never hurts to have perfect preservation in your back pocket. But this is definitely a piece that you could swap around for something you prefer over preservation. We have the orbit equipped as our sidearm. Not a weapon you'll get to very often with the Scorpio as your primary, but perfect finisher is a nice talent if you can time it up correctly. For our mask, we have our first piece of Brazos de Arquebus. It's going to give us skill haste. We're not really going to use that. It's more there to get us to the second piece. For our backpack, we have Grupa Sombra SA. The 15% critical hit damage is quite nice to have on this build. As you can see, we're stacking as much critical hit chance and critical hit damage as we can. It's a bit unorthodox for a shotgun build, but it does feel quite nice. As mentioned, for the talent, we've rolled Galvanize onto this piece, applying a Blind, Ensnare, Confuse, or Shock to an enemy grants 40% of your armor as bonus armor. So while it says that it's only to allies within 20 meters of that enemy, that also applies to yourself. So even if you're running solo, this build is viable. But on top of that, if you're running in a group, you give bonus armor to all of your friends and buddies anytime you use the Scorpio and get at least to that third level, the Disorient. Disorient is synonymous with Confuse in this game. So those are one in the same. So every time you apply three shots from the Scorpio on an enemy, you will be proccing Galvanize and granting 40% of your armor as bonus armor to yourself and allies within 20 meters of that enemy for 10 seconds. For the chest piece, I have zero Fs on there for two main reasons. One is the Badger Tough brand set bonus of plus 10% shotgun damage. And secondly, we have the perfectly unbreakable talent. As you can see, I only have critical hit chance rolled. If I could, I would roll critical hit damage as well. As you'll see coming up for the gloves and the knee pads, I went with something of the staple crit hit build. So we've got contractor gloves for the damage to armor and Fox's prayer for the damage to target out of cover. And then last but not least, we have Picaro's holster. That extra weapon core is an attribute of something I really can't get away from right now. And additionally, the plus one skill tier will get you to five shield tiers for your half shield. But this is definitely something of a preference. For instance, instead of zero Fs, you could absolutely go with Intimidate. I find the buildup to be a little too slow since they reconfigured that talent. And you could also additionally feel free to swap out Contractor's Gloves or Fox's Prayer for something else you feel lets you either hit a little bit harder or get hit a little bit harder. For the skills, as mentioned, we have the Artificer Hive. It's one I find myself running commonly whenever I have a shield on a build. And then we also have the Crusader Ballistic Shield. Love the survivability that it gets and the movement capability. Rushing your enemy, loading them full of septic shock, and taking them down. So that's this build. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay.